be here today for my dear, dear sister Jennifer Lewis, who is and has always been a star. Come on now. You know, when you go and look up the word star, it talks about an effervescent, the luminous body in the celestial heavens that emanates energy. Come on now, Debbie. Come on now. universe with a swiftness here, there. Look at all Come the accomplishments. Now. You can't have done all this at her youthful age, uh -huh. mm -hmm. which is 10 years younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. But she is so dynamic and so amazing. And what I love about Jennifer, I've seen her since she was ripped back at the back. Back in New York, I've watched her that long. When she came to California and was almost on her way back because people weren't seeing what they needed to see. Yeah. And we had a role on a different world for the dean. I said, "Girl, come on over here." Come on. And now. that was amazing. Uh, what she did with us on a different world yes. was amazing. Woo! Woo! But that's just to say that. Things happen in their own time. And things happen the way they're supposed to be. And this moment right now is a great moment for all of us to share with Jennifer that she is joining the ranks and her name leaves an indelible mark for time, generations. And I brought one of my youngest students here so he could see her up close and personal. No. The children love her so much. So today, as we put her name in this marquee of greatness, we can only think about what all is yet to come. Uh -uh. Because Jennifer Lewis is absolutely still in the making. Morning, noon, and night, and she is turned to the call, and she should. You're a comedian. And it is a blessing, and it's a privilege, and God bless how the walk of fame for knowing who should be on this. That's right, baby. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. I'm like, I just heard right out there. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Yay! Who woke me up for this? <laughs> the Lord. Yes. I thought it was 11.30 at night. <laughs> okay. Wow. Take your time, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored, honored to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yes, yes. I'd like to thank the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, Ellen Kay, the Hollywood Walk of Fame Committee, and Anna Martez. Yes. <laughs> yes. Martinez. Martinez. Woo! Don't you Hispanics come up here and meet me. I studied Spanish in seventh grade. <laughs> and I learned todo des no llegue de la escuela todo día. That's all I know. <laughs> and Anna has been the head of the Hollywood Walk of Stars for 35 years. Give her a hand. Just having to deal with all the celebrities. Have my sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I got a lot of comments on the internet. Things like, it's long overdue. It is. It is. Well deserved. It is. Yes, it is. Why did it take so long? Amen. <laughs> My favorite, it's about damn time. Yeah. 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 Debbie Allen said, I should have memorized my speech. I want to thank all of you who put those comments for loving and supporting me throughout the year. But what you don't know is I just wasn't ready. Because mm. I had not done the real work. Mm. The real work was off stage. Yes. And off camera. Yes. When I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, come on, baby. Somehow I found the strength and the courage to say three of the most powerful words in the English language. Come on, All right. baby. All right. Take your yes. Time. All right. Take your time. I need help. Yes. Woo! I love being alive. I love that I got to do 
what I love to, to do with my life, and I know that I'm one of the lucky ones. Amen. You still do Everybody it. doesn't get to do it. Yes. I, you know, I sang my first solo in church when I was five years old, and from the reaction of the congregation, I stood there and said, they were applauding, people were crying, my mother was crying for the first time. I've never seen anything like that. People were jumping up, and I stood there with my thumb in my mouth, and I thought to myself, oh, this is life. Mm. And I never look back. Mm. Yes. You believe that. Now, speaking of joy, dear God, my family's here today. Yes. yes. I want my siblings to stand up. I wish Mama was here, but she's gone on. She's here. She is. Oh, she is. Here. Oh, she is. Look. Y'all know. Look. You want to know the truth? I am. <laughs> Everything about me is my Mama. I got her look, her skin. She gave me this baby skin. Men don't know what to do with it. Yeah. I want to share something. Listen. I'm not gonna forget my friends. All my friends. Stand up. Stand up. Come on. Get up. Woo! Get up. These are all my close friends. Tom, Terry, Vanessa, Matt, Mark, Lou, Brian, Tom, Terry, and all of you. All of you know who you are. I don't. <laughs> Never been tears in my garden. 
because it is the happiest thing. I love being in the garden. Brian put tears in my garden that day and I cherished every one of them. You hear me? Thank you, young man. Now, I want to share something really, I'm going to share something really great with you. I just got back from vacation. I took a trip around the world to cultural treasures. Mm. Now, let me tell you where I went. <laughs> okay, here we go. Around the world to cultural treasures. I went to the Taj Mahal. Yes. Petra Jordan. Uh -huh. The Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi. Yes. And Paul Watt in Cambodia. I took a helicopter. There he is. <laughs> I'm still up there. Yeah. The Hollywood Walk of Fame is a cultural treasure. Yeah. yeah. Hey, think about it. It's a cultural treasure. People travel from all over the world to see these stars. I did. It was the first place I came when I came to Los Angeles. Who doesn't want to see this? We hear about it. All of the great people that came into our living rooms and blessed us with their creativity, the levels and colors of their performances. Betty Davis, like someone said a while ago, Joan Crawford, yes. Dorothy Dandridge. Yes. You want to know where I got my comedic timing from? No, I can't think of her name. <laughs> <laughs> Who played Manny? Patty McDaniel and Moms Mabley gave me my comic time. You hear me? So, here I am. A little colored girl from a small town called Kinlock, Missouri. Hello. Yes. Yes. Right next to Catherine Hepburn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, baby. <laughs> I assure you, I assure you that was huge when Brian told me it was next to Catherine Hepburn because she was an advocate for women's rights. She was huge in it. She was the first actress, I think, to wear pants. Wow. And now I am trying to use my platform as Catherine Hepburn did to educate and inspire. Now, this is what I want to say. Huh. These are not dark times. Uh -huh. These are awakening times. Come on now. Come on. We all, you out there in the world, we all have to be brave. We have to be brave now and we have to be loud in that braveness. is sitting at the piano and screaming <laughs> with my seven chords that I know. <laughs> screaming out spoken words and songs like, take your knee off my neck. Come on. Flint ain't fixed. Get your ass out and go. And of course, you can't say the real. I don't want nobody walking with me. me. Oh, 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 oh,
be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If all you see me with your love, I got the earth, I want to merge, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Don't let her see me, Lord. Come on, baby. You got the earth, I want to merge, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If all you see me with your love, I got the earth, I want to merge, that's what I'm